I've, I've retrieved quite a few Probably cold too. That's not what I'm. That's what I'm not looking. Is it cold? To. Step slowly. I don't. Even, I don't know how deep it is at all. It's it's uncanny warm. It's kind of nice. Oh, because it's dark, so the sun absorbed it. It absorbed all the sun. Or or a lot of seagulls peed in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now. If, hey, I'm going to say, if water's warm, it's not a good sign. Is that it? I, yeah, that's it. Dude, it's only, it's only three feet deep. <laughs> like straight forward. Sadly, this is the last flight of the cow. And it had my GoPro on board too. The one that it took me so long to go and actually get. And this is <laughs> Quadfather. Quadfather underscore FPV. <laughs> So what happened was I was at an event at the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. <laughs> and after the event, I really wanted to just go fly around the lake at Palace of Fine Arts. And um, as you all are probably ra raging to tell me, I'm ruining the hobby. Um, I was actually standing next to a officer while I was flying. He's uh, a friend of mine that I've, I've known for a while. And the other cops, there's two other cops next to me as well, along with the security guard for the, the area of the Palace of Fine Arts. And these guys are just on patrol. And they took like two minutes out of their day to come and just talk to me about this stuff because they were interested. And I asked them if it was okay to fly around. And there's like five patrol cars always around the Palace of Fine Arts. And they said, yeah, go for it. I mean, there's drones flying around here all the time. Uh, there seem to be no real people around here. Just stay over the water. So if anything happens, you just fall in the water. I said, okay, fine, no problem. This was also the time that I was messing around with all my quad settings and nothing really was working properly because I had just screwed up everything and I could barely even fly. So I'm like, oh, well, well let's see what happens. And like, I've never actually lost a quad. And I, I mean, I, who would have thought <laughs> that I would have lost the quad? So I'm flying around having a great time because it was so beautiful flying around that area with, especially with like the, the camera that I use, which looks really nice. It's just, just so nice to fly, and uh, I'm just flying really low to the water, and I haven't flown over water in a long time, and I forgot how deceiving water is. And unfortunately, it just plopped into the water, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't save it. Couldn't save it at all. I posted the DVR of me flying on my Instagram, and I had a bunch of people message me saying they wanted to go look for it, but most of them weren't in San Francisco, and I, I appreciated it a whole lot, but... If you've been to San Francisco and you've been to the Palace of Fine Arts, you know that the water in the Palace of Fine Arts is is not really water. It's just like mud. It's murky, murky water. And I figured there's really no hope of finding it. Even though it's only like three feet deep, it's not even deep at all, I wasn't even going to try. I said, oh, well, you know, I'm an idiot. Take my own loss. And so what? And uh, I spent like a couple minutes trying to trying to locate where exactly it was in the water. And I just gave up and went home. But the next day, Quadfather shows up and he says, I will gladly go look for it through the water. And Quadfather, is a, he's, a, he's a scuba diver, so he has a scuba license, he's a scuba yeah, instructor. And so he is going to look for like my quad in a three-foot shallow right water. And I really urged him not to city. because San Francisco is, um, well, the Faust Fine Arts is a place where Many people use a lot of bad drugs, and a lot of times they'll just throw the needles into the water because it's murky water. Who goes in there? And um, there's a lot of bad stuff in that water, and it's just really nasty. I really urged him not to go in that water, and I really urged nobody to go looking in that water. But two people already have <laughs> this, this, this person that I'm putting on the screen right now and uh, Quadfather. And what what can I do? I, I tell them, like you know, it, whatever you find is yours. But I really urge yeah, you not to do this because it's it's not okay, safe. No, it's not completely lot. safe, and you're not really going to get in trouble. The police don't really care. They'll kind of just ask you to get out of the water if they catch you. But um, sure, why not? Go for it. I'll gladly spot you and instruct you where it might be. So he <laughs> tromped around in the water for <laughs> about ten minutes and didn't find anything. And um, yeah, that was unfortunate, and I, I'm making this video because of how much I appreciate what he did, and the fact that he just showed up to come to just meet me. He was, he was a fan. I'm, I'm always, I'm always happy. I'm so happy to meet fans, and it's, it's so nice and so welcoming 
to meet people that are just interested in meeting me, which I honestly don't know what I've done to deserve, but I'll take it and I and I thank you very much for it. And he's a he's a really he's a really bright kid. He is he's got a really bright future. He's he's really good, and I, I'm I'm looking forward to keeping in touch with him and seeing where he goes. Just because of this one act that he did, looking around for my quad in this water, <laughs> which is interesting. So this video is just a tribute to him and Sam, and I really don't urge anybody to go looking for my quad in this water because it's just nasty. But if you do find it, please, I would appreciate the GoPro back because it does have a Best Buy warranty on it, and I'd like to exchange it out. Uh, and I, lo I want that, really just want the SD card because that flight was just so nice. Other than that, that's all for now. This is just a supplemental video. Just, just thanking Quadfather and Sam. And um, yeah, that's it. Take care. Don't forget to floss.